Uh, today I have an iPhone here. This is iPhone XS Max and this one has got a problem. The touch does not work on this phone. The guy who brought it to me, he brought it initially with a camera issue and I told him my price and the duration and the time so he did not agree and he took it somewhere. So where he took it, they gave it back to him when the sensor is not working. The guy told them that the sensor failed to work after removing the screen guard. But they tried to put another screen and the screen still could not work. It could show the image, but the sensor still was not responding. So when I opened it, I saw that the person who fixed the, who was trying to fix the camera, made some mistakes. If you look closely here, this is the touch connector. So you can see some parts here on the touch are missing. So if you look closely, you can see some parts here, components are missing. It looks like the guy was trying to remove the screen and they accidentally broke these components. So I've checked in the body view of this motherboard and I saw these two components. One of them is a fuse and another is a capacitor. And I suspect that those two components are the reason why this motherboard is not responding to touch. So let me first take out the motherboard and we can see if we can fix this issue. So the motherboard is out. I've finished assembling this phone. Remember there were two that are missing. However, I've replaced one and you can see it's this one here. It's very tiny and I really don't know if you can see it clear. As you can see, uh, these were two missing components here and I uh, managed to replace this fuse here and this one was meant to be a capacitor, however there are many capacitors that can compensate for this. This actually happens when you are removing these, these cables. So let's put back this and test and see. So let's power on. Yeah. 
<laughs> this one has been disabled okay so you can see the sensor is now working and I know the customer is going to be happy I didn't show you the process of replacing this part but it was really so tedious because uh, these components are very very tiny let me just shut it off now but in most cases if you have an issue or if you have a phone that does not touch even if you have replaced the screen most times you have to look at this part here or if they brought you phone which was touching and after doing the repairs you put back and you see the sensor is not working the screen is not broken most times you need to check these components around here I see some people use some plastic pliers to open these parts but I think nails work better if you can put a nail at the bottom here you can feel the distance between the screen cable and the components which helps you that you don't break those components off the motherboard so this one I'll just assemble back put the screws and call the customer so I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any question you can put in the comments you can subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video